This is your time. This food that I'm making has an estimated amount of protein of probably 60 to 70 grams, 35 to 40 grams of fiber, and 10 to 12 micrograms of iron. That Comparing that with a six ounce piece of red meat, that six ounce piece of red meat has around 52 grams of protein, which is a little bit less, has absolutely no fiber whatsoever, and has probably about the same amount of iron. So all in all, this is, in my opinion, much healthier because it has no sodium and it has no added sugars. It has a lot of carbohydrates in it, but it's not refined carbohydrates. It's the healthy form of carbohydrates. That's going to be a whole nother video that we talk about later on. This is a food that I eat virtually every day and it has worked for me fantastically and my energy levels are through the roof from it and all my blood work levels are very good and I feel great. That's why I recommend it. The, the goal of this video is to show you that it is possible to get protein without having to eat it from meat. Here's my typical main meal for the day. I start out with a base of my seven grain mix. It has seven different grains in it. The primary ones are things like farro, buckwheat, rye, sorghum, uh, a few other things. I can give anybody the list if they want to see it, but I put a decent portion of that in this bowl. Okay, so that's my base. Then I go to, I have, this is mixed lentils. It's red lentils and yellow lentils kind of thing. I will put in two good heaping tablespoons of mixed lentils. Again, very high in fiber, very high in iron, as is the grain as well. The goal is to get lots of fiber, protein, and iron, all from plant-based sources. Now, these are chickpeas. They're known, but they're different chickpeas. They're known as black chickpeas. They're chickpeas with the skin on it. You, the primary place to find these are in the Indian markets. It's called Kalachana, K-A-L-A, C-H-A-N-A. If you have an Indian market in your town, they'll almost certainly have this. And you cook these in the pressure cooker as well. I'll show people how to cook them. I do two, two tablespoons of those. And again, the reason why I like the black chickpeas as opposed to regular chickpeas, regular garbanzos, is they have the skin on them, which means they're higher in fiber, higher in iron content. And you know what else is very good about these chickpeas? My dogs love them. Both of my dogs are like addicted to these things. So they will get a little taste of that as well. The, this is fava beans. They're, um, they're basically beans that are a little more buttery in texture. Again, two tablespoons of fava beans. Again, high in fiber. Again, high in iron content. Again, high in protein. All of these, that's the goal, is to get all those things, iron, protein, and fiber. And I have here, I have, this is corn, but it's not yellow corn or white corn, it's blue corn. It's higher in protein content. You have, you have to get it especially, I get it off Amazon, and I make it again in the pressure cooker. I'll, I'll, in other videos, I'll show you how to make these things. But you make that, again, extremely high in fiber, iron, and protein. Then green peas. But these are not frozen green peas. They're not canned green peas. They're green peas that I get in bulk and make in the pressure cooker. They have no added salt. That's the benefit of them. The frozen ones most of the time don't have salt added either. 
and, and they're, they're okay. But I just, I like the taste of these better. But there's, there's nothing wrong with the frozen green beans. The canned ones very frequently will have salt added. And you need to make sure you drain them and rinse them off very well. And then here's my new magic ingredient that I've been using lately. It's called black garlic. What it is, I had never heard of this before. It is fermented garlic. It's special. It's really good. It has an incredibly aromatic smell. I love this stuff. I put it all in my food. But you sit here, it's like this. this. You break up the, the, it peels right away from it. Everything peels off of it. And you're left with a black thing that's very soft. You could, you could almost spread this like butter. That's how soft it is. But instead, what I do is I just cut it up and I put little chunks of it in my food. Here, let me move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. I just cut up the chunks and throw it in my food. I wish you could smell this stuff. I'm going to be glad when I invent smell vision for over the internet because then you'd be able to smell the aroma from this garlic. I, I love this stuff. I've only been eating it for like three or four weeks and I've, I've literally fallen in love with it. It's absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm going to take myself, I'm going to put this in the microwave very soon. I take myself corn tortillas. Not white flour tortillas. White flour is bad. It's just not healthy. And some people will say corn, you know, they will say, you know, GMO, a lot of it's genetically modified. So some people don't even like corn. I'm okay with it. I mean, it's, it's almost impossible to get anything that's perfect. And I like corn tortillas because it makes me feel like I'm eating something close to bread that's a lot healthier. So, I make myself four corn tortillas in the toaster oven. Then, I will take, this is my bean mix. This is, it's black beans, or any, you can do any kind of beans. Actually, this batch, I use cannellini beans. Because I had some I wanted to use up. It was cannellini beans with squash, carrots, red pepper, onion, tomatoes, more of that black garlic in there, and sweet potatoes. I threw all this in the pressure cooker. I'm going to show that in a separate video where I show you how to make that. And I put all that in there. It cooks for like an hour in the pressure cooker. And when it comes out, it's very soft. You can either eat it chunky. I make this for some people, some of my friends and neighbors. They like it chunky. Me, I personally like it when you throw it in the blender and you grind it all up. That's just my personal opinion. People ask me, what is it like? And basically, I tell them it's almost like it's the best black bean, black bean, it's the best bean dip you've ever had. It's essentially what it is. It's really fantastic. So I put this on top of everything else I put in that tray. Filling up the bowl. Fill her up. Let's see what I got. And I make this when I make it in the pressure cooker. It makes like five or six days worth at once. And, and it lasts that long, so it's not a problem. I, I make all the I make all this stuff in advance and have it in the fridge and keep it on hand. Um, okay. Okay, now I'm gonna top it with air fried tofu. Air fried with no oil, no breading, nothing. All the air fried does is it's firm tofu but it dries it out 
and it makes it a little chewy. And I, I like the texture. And I top this all over my food. And as you can see, I'm just about out of tofu. I'm, I'm going to use all of this up today. So what I will do is later in the day, I will go back to the air fryer and I will make another batch of tofu and fill up. The container will be full again when I finish with that. I take all this, I throw it in the microwave for six minutes. And now, now while all of this is cooking, I will sit there and I will take two more bowls. I'll take some of these black chickpeas. I'll put a few of them in one bowl for my small dog. She doesn't eat as much and doesn't eat a lot. And then my larger dog, he's a pig. He'll eat as much as you give him. But you see, I'm almost out of black chickpeas. So I will make more of those this morning as well, in addition to the um, tofu that I did. And we're good to go. And that's all heating up. I'm going to stop the video, and I'm going to go feed the dogs. And then when I come back, you can see how it finishes up. Okay, now here are my two dogs. Here's the little one. Her name is Soji, S-O-J-I. In case you're curious, that's a Star Trek name. Now I'm giving her chickpeas. She loves them. And here is Astro. Black Lab, big dude. Big dog. And there, now, that beeping is telling me that my corn tortillas are ready out of the toaster oven. So I'm going to pull them out. Here, here's my food all waiting for me with my microphone kind of in the way, but I'll eat around it. I like to eat while I'm sitting at my desk because I can do stuff on the computer. I can do my work. I can do learning activities. I can do all kinds of things while I do that. So it's my preference. I go to my daily activities. You see, I keep it. I maintain a daily journal here on the computer. I like everything to be organized. So now I'm going to go inside the record. Each day has a separate day. A check mark here tells me that I actually did that activity for the day. And the goal is to fill up as many of the check marks, if not all of them. Okay. First thing I do is I focus on the things from the way of excellence that I have created. On the left is the way of excellence symbol with mind, body, and spirit. Then this is the pyramid, the way of excellence pyramid that shows you how everything stacks up. These are all 20 of the concepts. And you notice they stack on each other. They build on each other. And as you do these, you're working your way toward your higher power, what I refer to as source energy. Some people will call it God. Some people will call it the universe. I call it source energy. I like that. It's the source of my power. And the more I pull all of these things together and the more I act in a manner that is consistent with all 20 of these concepts, I am pulling together my mind, my body, and spirit, making a whole mind, a whole body, a whole spirit, all of which are again symbolized by the symbol on the left here. Now, I have affirmations that I go through. Um, I have this, my definite chief aim is a statement of my purpose in life. It reminds me of that. I have motivational thoughts that I use that help get me motivated. Um, and here's just some additional thoughts. Then one of my favorite things is Bruce Lee's teachings. I very much love a lot of what he talks about. And I have five things here. This is a book written by his daughter, Shannon Lee, where she talks about Bruce Lee's teachings. They're really good. Then I have other teachings here, various things, you know, to think about. And I will just, you know, randomly pick one of them and go through it. I'm going to stop the screen share for a minute because I want to actually eat some of my food.
be limitless. Focus your mind, train your body, feed your spirit, because this is your time.